Hey guys, Tony Radloff, uh, Radloff Apiary. We are heading out to the farm today to get some food on the bees. I honestly, 100% was not planning on feeding this week. It's October 2nd. Uh, next week is supposed to drop down high of uh, low 60s, 50s. So uh, it's going to get cold, but this week it's hot. It's uh, We're in the 80s. Um, yes, we are in the 80s. Um, I made five gallons of feed, put it on three hives that I hadn't put food on yet. And I thought I had about a gallon left and I thought I'll just kind of distribute it, top up other bucket feeders that I have. I got one bucket, one gallon bucket feeders on um, all 12 of my hives now that are out here at the farm. And the first hive that I checked, the feeder was completely empty, bone dry. It was absolutely crazy because I put the feeders on not that long ago. Um, so they have powered through that food. They are hungry. And so I made up a quick, another five gallon um, batch of syrup and we're gonna get some food on. So um, pretty excited about it because that means that's just, you know, another batch of food, more food that they're gonna have going into winter. Um, I guess we just say fingers crossed, maybe it'll, uh, better bet of getting them to uh, where they want to be going into winter and we get some good healthy colonies coming out of winter into the spring that is what we want so it's gonna be a good time slap it on make it quick we're not here to do any funny business All right, guys, I really wasn't planning on doing this, but uh, feeding went relatively smooth. And I thought, you know what? This is probably the last time that I'll have a chance to check out a colony um, before it gets too cold. And this colony is done really, really well. This is an early uh, summer, midsummer split, um, but they are booming. This is a double deep. You can see lots of population. Um, they are doing really, really well. And I figure let's let's give them a look see before we close them up. Filled up their bucket, but you know, let's check out let's check out what they're working with here. So I got one, I think almost completely empty frame here. This frame I pulled out last time, and it was an oversized, filled with honey. I mean, it was just a monster of frame. So yeah, nothing. Nothing really going on in this frame, but that's okay. That was expected. Basically just a frame to give me some room to work. We're not gonna get into every single one of these frames, but this is similar to what the other frame looked like. And you'll see it's just huge. It weighs so much. There's so much honey on it. It's so wide. This would be a great frame for them to take into wintertime though. There, There's so much food in there. I'm not not taking any of these honey frames out um i'm just going to kind of dive into one of these middle frames here see if they have any brood and then we'll get into the second box because it'd be cool to see the queen see see if she's around so there's no brood up here which doesn't feel like it because this is also very heavy yeah there's no brood on this strictly honey it's all honey frames up here which is awesome awesome to see a ton of resources boating well for wintertime survival get these closed back up um, and then we'll pop into the bottom box if I can lift this top box I mean I only run eight frame equipment for this exact reason but this is gonna be so heavy I don't even know give him a little give him a little smoke ski don't get too grumpy with me ladies holy smokes it's heavy it's heavy 
adjust this a little bit. Get a better idea of what's going on. Down yonder. Um, so let's go for a skinny, skinny looking frame. We'll just grow this outside one. Likely the queen's not on it. Um, this one, we did do mite testing and treatments a couple of weeks ago. This hive actually came back clean. No sign of mites. This is still going to be tight. Screw them on over. They're a little grumpy. It's that time of year. They don't super enjoy people messing with them. We've got to be quick. We don't want any anyone to think any other colonies to think this is a a hive that can be robbed out or messed with because it can't it's huge and this is all honey on this side look at that i mean that is beautiful beautiful let's get that out of here looks like a lot of honey on that next frame we're gonna skip that one Make sure we show some evidence of a queen. I'm sure she's here. But it's always good to make sure she's here. And this one's a little lighter. Um, this is actually a ton of pollen on that side. And they're actually filling this one up with pollen and nectar. A lot of pollen on that side too. But there's just so many bees in here. It's just awesome. And then they do slow down laying and brood management and all that kind of stuff. Once it starts getting cool, and honestly, last week it was really pretty cool get rid of my hive tool and you can see here brood still going um, looking for eggs I don't see any eggs or any larva um, but definitely still some brood there last of that batch maybe Unclear. Um, some brood here on the other side of this frame too. I don't see your majesty. I love gloves for the safety factor. But man, I hate gloves for the fact that it makes working frames just miserable. They get stuck, they're too big. I mean, they're not too big, but they're just enough slack where... Oh, lots of brood on this frame. Holding it up toward the, to the sun so I can see down in there. Oh yeah, we got larva down in here. You can see that get some sun in there for you um, but you can see there's I don't know if you can see the larva but definitely larva in there some brood in there so I haven't seen the queen but the eggs and larva definitely a fantastic sign that she's still in here and she's trucking around doing her thing and I do see eggs in here Check the other side once again quick. If we don't find her, we don't find her. This isn't exactly a queen searching mission, but I want to take this opportunity to get in here. Check it out. This is one of my biggest, strongest colonies that um, right on the verge of 
being a production colony, but we actually didn't pull any. We left them. Um, we split, gave them the double deep, and then just let them focus on growth and making sure they did well. We didn't put any supers on here. They really didn't need it. Um, but some would say they were pretty packed in here. Um, but we always check the cups, check for queen cells. Never really had an issue with that. And here's actually the queen running around here. Hope you'll be able to see her. She's right here. Running around. She's looking good. Good job, lady. Excited for uh excited for the winter. The gal pals look like they're prepping you perfectly. We get you put back away. Safe and sound. She's on that side of that frame, so now we're in pretty good shape to get these frames put back together nice and gently. Put this honey frame back in, close them up, call it a day, and it's off to dinner. Getting feisty. Don't worry. Closing you up. It's funny, you smoke them and they get really riled up and it sounds scary. Um, but that buzz is not an angry buzz, that's a confusion. This is hive number one at Radloff Apiary. It's a beautiful night. Excited to get these girls a little extra feed. Get some prepped for winter before we wrap them up. Ah, it's fantastic out here. Look at this. Beautiful sky. Beautiful weather. It's warm. I'm getting kind of sweaty. But uh, that's okay. We'll take it before the cold sets in. And it's uh, going to get cold. Like I said, I think next week we're looking at 50s and 60s instead of our 70s, 80s. Um, and they'll really start crunching down into just packing in the syrup, packing it in, packing in the pollen, slowing down brood, um, just to make sure that they're uh, good and bulked up for the winter time. So thanks for coming along. It's been fun.